Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Soccerholics. We're here with our good friends uh, in Toronto here, the Football Factory. Great place to come to watch uh, all the live games of anything to do with soccer. Yeah. Uh, here, of course, uh, my man Chris, Billy. Uh, this week's episode, it's all about three main people. Pep Guardiola, Yaya Torre, and his agent. You probably know about it in the news, a lot of bust up going on, arguments. Will Yaya Torre ever play, play ever again for this, for this season? I don't know. Uh, we got the video yeah. though, so uh, let's check it out. To put it out in the Champions League, so difficult. Because I know him, I know he's a good, good guy. But it was difficult for me as well for Alex Garcia, the only two guys that are out, because the list is the list. But the day after his manager spoke, in that moment, Yaya is out. Except Mr. Dimitris Saluk came back in the press conference, all his friends in the media, because he has not courage to call me, go to the media and say, apologize to Manchester City, the first one, the second one, his teammates, and after the trainer. When that happened, Yaya will be part of the group and he will have the same chance to play all the games. Because I cannot accept like a coach, every manager, when he doesn't play, what his player, go to the media and speak and speak and speak. It depends. I know how loves Dimitri Saluk to Yaya Touré. If he loves me, show me and make apologize to the Manchester City what he did in the journalist. I cannot imagine my period when I was a football player, my manager, go to the media and speak against Johan Cruyff and say it about this, about that. Maybe it's the new area, you know, the new period changing, but I'm old guy. I'm old, uh, old generations. In old generations, manager has to make his job players his job and trainers his job and today the managers believe they are more than they are so you have a problem call Chiki Begista in the club and can talk hmm. so let's just do the backstory so what, what's exactly been going down here uh, like, um, how did this I'm, all start I'm sweating a bit here because I know how <laughs> Yaya's situation is but basically whatever clubs Pep's gone to and we refer back to Barcelona uh, when Pep took over in 08, Yaya was there. Yaya was having a splendid time as the DM, having field day. Then Pep was promoted from the B side to the A side. Yaya got kicked out for a lovely play that we all praise now, Sergio Busquets. Yeah. For me, this is just carbon copy number two, except Busquets is in Busquets, it's Gundogan this time. Yeah. And Yaya's kind of older now. We've all said that probably in previous seasons. Quiet talent, same situation as Rooney, he's just lost a step. Yeah. But, but the backstory in this video is basically, uh, his, his so uh, Yoyo Torre's agent is basically having a go at Pep Guardiola for not playing his 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 product. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't right. like the decision. I don't think he got concluded in the Champions League, whatever. He's just got no, no interest in the Yoyo yeah, Torre whatsoever. I know, I just, I, again, I, I, yeah, I'm kind of on Pep's side. The agent has no business voicing, attacking the manager. He's got no business doing that. I've never seen that done before I've by got, an agent. I think it's, it's got to be Yaya Torre and his agent's fault mainly because if they wanted to, if he knew when he got there they didn't like him, why didn't he try and make a move? I, I heard the reason he didn't want to make a move to it is because at the end of his contract he gets a bonus for seeing out of his contract. Right. So he's after the money, right? The bonus money at the end of the contract. So wow. he, he's saying he, he wouldn't mind sitting there for a year and just getting, getting paid the money. And So it's obviously not good because a year comes, who's going to want him? Who's going to want Yaya Torre next year when he hasn't played football? Exactly, for a whole you've got year, to be right? consistent. So that way his agent's trying to get him game time, but obviously it didn't go down too well. Yeah. His agent spoke to him. It's a tough one because he's such a great player, but I mean, we knew, we knew that. Uh, I think in the last couple of years, though, he's, he's not. Yeah, he's, no. he's got so lazy, he just wanders around the pitch. Once he once he scores a goal, then he's like, oh, yeah, I'll play football now, but he's, he's mm. not been good for the whole year. So yeah, that reminds me a bit of Anelka back in the day for yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's just shocking. I mean, I just don't understand why, why the agent is getting involved. <laughs> Like, yeah, he's he's getting got, involved he does no because, business, it's nothing well, like, to do with football. No, but like, he's a product to this agent, and the product's always going to have a lifespan, whether it's five, ten years, whether it's just one year on top. Yeah. He wants to maximize his ability to have his product showcased to the world. We know Yaya Torre is one of the top players in the world. Everyone's going to recognize Yaya Torre. Not everyone's going to know, unfortunately, like, Janko that plays right back, back up right back at Arsenal. Right. There's, there's marketability there. But what, so, I want to know what's the problem with. Man City as a club, what are they saying about this? Because they pay him, I think, 280 grand a week, the Yaya Torre. Are you going to pay save money? Is he still getting paid his money? He's oh, still, no, he no, no, yeah. of course. So they they, they, have, they have to do his contract. 
Remember the whole cake incident that blew up media for the past yeah, two weeks? That's, what, yeah. that's all important to him. But what you guys gotta remember at the end of the day is that the club still has to pay him. Yaya wants his money. He's pretty much done what Rooney did at the neighboring Manchester club, bullied Man City into a contract. And you know what? But what the club saying about this? If, if your manager don't want to play someone, you're paying 280 grand a week. He's sitting there on the bit. It's actually wasting money in it, or is the city just not here because they've got so much money? But let me put it like yeah. this: they're not Sunderland. If this was Sunderland, they had Yaya Torre paying them that money. They'd kind of be worried. <laughs> but still, it's crazy. Yeah, still, it's City, and like to this bench? is probably like two percent of their wage. And I hate to say that. Yeah, uh, I don't know what they're going to do with him. It's how long is he going to sit on the bench for? In Man City. Yeah. Oh, he's not even sitting on the bench. He's not even making the bench. He's okay. Just so not, so not look, looking ahead. When the January transfer winner comes, will he stay or will he go? Long move. Well, that's this. He, but I told you about his bonus he's got on the end of his contract. That's if he wants to move, right? He no, might but just say. It will most likely be if you consider the fact that it's Man City and how much he's getting paid. It's going to be a loan move that Man City has to pay. Yeah, it could be a loan move or something like that. So he still says his contract gets his bonus. Unless Man City pay him off and just say, leave, we'll give you a payday and uh, see you later. They can do whatever they want, but at the end of the day, this is just another example, similar to the Joe Hart incident earlier in the week, and company as well, yeah, of Pep yeah. stamping his authority on the team. We recently saw Mourinho do this this past week by sitting Rooney, Fellaini, and Shaw. Like, managers have to have their respect at the end of the day. This is Their job is to find the best 11, because they're all tools at the end of the day, I hate to label the players that, to solve the other team. It's a chess match. We yeah, watch yeah. it every week. It'd be interesting to see further as the season goes, when they start getting injuries, if they will recall him back into the side. Because they're always going to get injuries, right? Well, it's tough. So, Pep, right. Let's say Pep only has 14 of the 18 players that he wants to play with. As you as you just said, if the injuries happen, now he may only have yeah, eight. So it's it's a common case with Venga. Venga's always had that issue where he has the squad players to solve the game, to make us win those games, but because of the injuries that have piled up, sometimes we're forced their hands to have to play the same trick. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see if, he, if he does play him once the injuries pile up because I think he might go back on his word. I don't think his agent's going to apologise anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, it'll, be, it'll, be a yeah. quiet, it'll be a quiet apology. That's one of yeah. those things. Well, he said he wants to apologise to the players, the club, the fans, That's everyone. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pep, well, Pep likes to be, uh, yeah. as you know, as he's you know. the Pep show. Exactly. So. Well, we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Stockholics TV, and also YouTube and Facebook. Hope you enjoy the show and uh, we'll see you again next time.